And what you're seeing on the screen there, of course, is Mr. Jean-Luc. He is an international model having walked the runways of uh, featured campaign for brands like Gucci and Alexander McQueen. And so he joins us this morning. That's Mr. Jean-Luc Joseph to talk about Studio 28. Good morning, Jean-Luc. Hi, good morning. Thank you for having me. No, thank you for being here. You looked beautiful on the runway. Thank I you I mean, so before much. we get into everything, tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, well, um, I was, you know, born and raised here in Trinidad in San Grande. Yes. Um, I was then scouted by my my now current agency, 28 Models. Um, from then, you know, we had developments here that was in, the, I want to say, late 2021. Uh, early 2020, late 2021, I left. And early 2022, I had my debut for Bottega Veneta, Fall Winter. Um, show and then from there, you know, my career blossomed. So I would say that I'm an international model. I'm also a photographer and a creative in general. I have to ask you, how is it, you know, walking the, the runways for international brands like that that we, some of us, only see here in the magazines? Yeah, I would say it's a very surreal experience for sure. Yeah. You know, I mean, growing up looking at, you know, I was very into fashion, very into fashion photography, and, you know, um, having experience, you know, how it is behind the scenes and the level of production that is done, you know, I would, I, all in all, I would just say it's such a surreal experience, you know, to be working for these massive, massive companies, you know, things that, as you say, you can only dream for, you know, yes. it's like... and seeing the magazines. Yeah. Now, you're a model, but you're also partnering that with photography as well. I am, okay, yes, that's nice. correct. Is it that the, the modeling would have uh, piqued your interest into photography? Actually, I was a photographer first. Uh -huh. Wow. Yeah, so I started, um, that's actually how I was discovered. I was discovered via Instagram. So during the pandemic, I was doing like a self-portrait series um, and posting it on Instagram. And then 28 models contacted me via DM. And they were like, you know, they were interested. They were like, you know, send over some Polaroids or asking, you know, like, what's your height, whatever the case may be. Um, and from there, we had a Zoom call, jumped on a Zoom call. And the end of the Zoom call, they were like, they were, they were interested in representing me. So I was a model, I was a photographer first. And then uh, the opportunity for modeling came along. And of course, with that opportunity, um, you know, the possibility to travel internationally. And I've always wanted to travel as just in general, but also as a photographer to really expand my work and, you know, see how it is done in the, in the international space, see how the level of production that is done. So, you know, with the opportunity of modeling, I just, you know, kill two burn to one. Two yeah, and, love it. And, yeah. <laughs> Very trendy, of course. Um, I love that you mentioned that you were actually scouted on Instagram because it shows the power, of course, of social media. Uh, let's jump into Studio Studio 20. Tell us about it. Well, Studio 20 it is a multifunctional photo and video space located on 103 uh, along Circular Road, Marval. So you, we do everything from, you know, commercial and fashion projects. There's three massive studios in this space. Uh, New York downstairs, which is also doubles into an event space. And then we have um, Milan and Paris upstairs. That's the name of the studios. Oh. So yeah, in addition to the uh, very capable studios, we also have an event space that we host everything. As I said, from you know video shoots, we have commercial um, clients coming in, fashion clients, and then we also do everything from uh, you know we have wedding clients as well. So everything from baby showers to weddings. So it's a fully capable space. Um, you know, any creative, I would definitely recommend, you know, coming down and, you know, uh, coming, checking it out, coming for viewing uh, and any project that you have in mind, I'm sure that we can make it happen in this space. Who is the mastermind behind the studio? Definitely my manager, my current <laughs> manager. Uh -huh. And this is the person that is also the owner of 28 Models, uh, Showing Bishop. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think in addition to him having the uh, you know, the modeling agency and wanted to bridge that gap um, from in the international space and the local space in concerns with, you know, talents. I think it's his love for, you know, the fashion industry in general and production. He's incorporated that as well, I think, you know, with the success that he's seen with the modeling agency and having these successful faces go out internationally, go out abroad and do well. Yeah. I think he also wanted to shift focus and be within that production space as well and have all these amazing things that are shot internationally, you know, all these magazines, these campaigns, these mm. massive fashion projects. Yes. I think he wanted it to be, you know, done here home as well on that level. Yeah. yeah. Now you mentioned it's a studio, but there are different spaces. Are there different things happening in the different spaces? Like can you book Milan as opposed to another space for a particular type of event? Uh, it really depends. I think it, uh, 
for the, the majority, I would say the event space is downstairs. Right. So it's a 3,000 square foot um, space downstairs, which is you can host anything from events, but the entire building is also available for booking as we have a client that has booked the entire, the entire building. Oh. Yeah, yeah, so it's, um, it, 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 we really cater to what the project is, but you know, you can um, uh, contact us. I think the best way to contact us is via um, our social media and Instagram at Studio 28 TT and you know, send in your inquiry and we can you know, match your, you know, your vision. Now this is, this is state of the art, as you mentioned. Yes. So are we talking green screen? Are we talking, I can be coming out of a helicopter and you're showing that on the screen. I mean, how big can I really take my, my, uh, my whole project? Big as the imagination yes. could, could, yeah. yeah. I mean, we have so many amazing projects happening there. Uh, at the moment, the space downstairs, we still have a couple, um, we still have a couple, uh, we're still working on any concerns with like the green screen and stuff, but that's definitely on the way. But as I said, like massive projects is happening yes. there, so you can definitely come down and check it out. Nice. And where are you guys located? This is on 103 Long Circular Road, Maraval. Okay, so easy access as well. Easy access. Nice, nice. Now let's go back a bit into your career. So you're a photographer, you're modeling and that kind of thing. Have you ever considered pageantry? I, it's been a topic that has came up a couple of times, but I think for me personally, it's 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 not something that I'm necessarily interested in. I'm more so, uh, as I said, like ever since I was younger, it was more so about like you know, I was very focused on you know the the fashion industry, where it'd be like you know the great fashion photographers like you know Peter Lindbergh, you know Maria Testino. Like yeah. I was very interested in that side of it, and then more so like runway shows rather than pageantry. You know, it may be something I might be interested in the future, but at the moment, I think I'm going to focus on the <laughs> fashion on side of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I understand there are different types of models. So there are one who does the print modeling, you do runway as well. Are you interested in print? Because I saw that beautiful billboard that you had, mm. you standing, posing in front of the billboard. So is it that you do different types of modeling work, or do you prefer, let's say, the runway as opposed to print? I think in concerns with preference i think i enjoy it all yeah. you know i mean the variety of it i think um with with runway you know i'm not just a runway model like i do everything from you know like i've done editorials you know gq l magazine i've done you know as you said billboards and campaigns i think with being a runway model all of these things kind of come with it you know so you have the print and you have these all these other things mm -hmm. um it's definitely a choice like if you prefer to do one thing or the other. Yeah. But I, I enjoy doing all of you it. You enjoy doing yeah, all. I, really I mean do. that moment when you saw yourself up on that billboard, tell Crazy. us. Crazy. <laughs> I can't even describe it. Tell I us think what was happening. It was a normal day, you were was, walking by. Okay, so I think um so the billboard went up I wanna say I can't remember the exact date. Right. But I remember like it was a uh, it was going up on a Wednesday and I had to go to London. So this was in Milan. So I had to go to London right. and organize some visa stuff. And then it was happening on a Wednesday and I had to go back to the US. So I was either, I, I either had to go back to Milan to see it for like a day. So you had to go back to Milan So I had to go back to Milan. So, to to Milan. <laughs> so it was just like, I was just like thinking, should I go back just to see this? Because I had to go to New York. Yes. So I was like, okay, uh, this is massive. This is, you know, crazy. Like, this is like such a milestone for me. Like, I have to go back. So nice. uh, full on the way going back, like on the plane, on everything, I'm just thinking, oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. And then walking up to, to it, like I saw like a little piece of it in the sky. And I, I feel like wow. I started getting emotional. You know what I mean? It was just like, because it has been such a journey up until that point, you know? And then I think when I finally saw it, I, I think I had like a little tear. You know, I started to up a little bit because it, it was such a milestone, you know, um, when I, you know, first saw it and I immediately, like, I called my mom and I was like, Mom, <laughs> look at this, you know what I mean? It was uh, such a surreal experience, you know what I mean? Uh, it, it, it really um, put into perspective, you know, what we're really doing out there. And it's, you know, I, I'm, so, I'm so privileged and blessed to be in that position, you know. Jean-Luc, I have to ask you, have about 30 seconds again, but any tips for models here who are looking at you now, seeing the possibilities existing, any sort of tips you can give them to even cross the regional market and get into the international market as a model? Oh, yes, uh, definitely. I think um, one of the main things, actually, as I'm here, I'm doing, um, uh, I'm here as a photographer as well. I'm working with the studio. Nice. And I'm offering packages to, you know, aspiring models, people who are interested in helping them de um, develop their portfolio. Mm. Because so a I think strong portfolio. A strong portfolio. I think that's 
definitely um, necessary. Yeah. Um, and also what we call digital as a Polaroids, which is just, you know, it's professionally done. Of course, this is what you submit to agencies, casting directors, clients. This is what books you the job. Yeah. You know, they all, I always have to do fresh Polaroids. So I'm offering this um, package. Um, you can contact me on Instagram at John Luke Joseph photo. Yes. So with these Polaroids, what I recommend as well, like I'm giving like a whole list of agencies that you can <laughs> that you can apply to. But yes. I would definitely say, even if you don't come and get it with me, get some Polaroids done. See how it is done. Get some Polaroids done. Um, I would recommend going on, you know, something like models.com, which is like a dictionary for modeling. And then you um, you go through the different agencies, see which one applies to you, and you submit it through there. And I think that's the best method. And I appreciate that tip. I know everybody watching who wants to be a model also appreciate that as well. Jean-Luc, thank you so much for coming in. I hope you have more surreal moments in the future. <laughs> and we look forward to see what your future holds. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. <laughs> and that was international model and also photographer, Mr. Jean-Luc Joseph, just giving us an update on his career. And of course, Studio 28, that one-of-a-kind studio space that's located right in Marval. You're on the Now Morning Show. We're going to take a break and be right back. Stay with us. Time is running low. Running low.